Hello BFD squad and welcome back to another edition of Football Mundial. As usual, I'm joined by Patrick Van Straaten and we've got two round the world tickets at the ready, baby. Yes, and today we'll be checking out a Liverpool-linked striker Ooh. better than Gabriel Jesus. Big mm. claim. A policeman making his international debut and the wonderful world of Zimbabwean football. Finally. Why not? So why the devil not? Well, because it's not very interesting. <laughs> Where else can we start but in Brazil, Pato, where 24-year-old attacker Luan is setting the world on fire. Flames with Gremio. Yeah, got it. Capable of playing as an attacking mid or a striker, Luan is, of course, a skillful dribbler with an eye for goal, like every Brazilian. And his <laughs> club president has claimed that he's as good as Gabriel Jesus and Gabi goal. Though we're not sure that the second one is something to boast yeah, about. Yeah, I was going to say, I'd hedge my bets that he's yeah. as good as Gabi goal. He's played about nine times fit into this season. Last season, Luan picked up three assists and six goals in 21 appearances, though his creative potential might be even better, as he made a huge 2.4 chances per game for his teammates. Wow. That's more than anyone at Liverpool, including Philippe Coutinho, who are apparently interested in the player. Mm. Mm. Apparently Spurs and Inter may rival the Reds for the player, but Gremio are playing hardball, insisting that if anyone buys him this summer, he gets loaned back until January. Mm. Can you smell something, Pato? Oh, God. I smell a transfer saga. Let's move on. Now, a heartwarming story from Ghana. Samuel Safo received his first call-up for the national team back in June at the age of 26. There is still hope for me yet. Well, you are shit. I could get into that Scotland side. Well, yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> Barry Bannon. Safo came on with 10 minutes to go of Ghana's 2-1 loss to the USA. But it's how he made the team in the first place, Pato which is the crazy part. Crazy. Yeah, Safo plays for an amateur side, the ironically named Liberty Professionals, and actually <laughs> makes his living by working as a policeman. Hmm. In fact, just a year ago, Safo was guarding the Ghanaian squad at the African Cup of Nations. Now he's part of the Black Star team, competing to qualify for the tournament next year. And it's no wonder, as he scored six goals this season, despite playing as a central defender, wow. and has been made captain after under a year with his current club. Talk about a late bloomer. Pretty, pretty impressive, pretty impressive, mate. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Sarfo is now set to turn pro, and given that he's keeping Leicester's Daniel Amati and Crystal Palace's Jeff Schlupp out the side, two girls, one Schlupp, he might have a bright future. Finally, Chris, today is the day. Finally, we're heading over to Zimbabwe, the land of my father's truth. After the national team took a pretty unusual step this week. This is actually weird. After finishing bottom of their group at this year's African Cup of Nations, mm. head coach Kalistas Pasawa left the Warriors and in classic Zimbabwean fashion, the choice of a new leader has proved problematic to say the least. Mugabe reference. So instead of adopting one new head coach, Zimbabwe have hired three. One for each of the competitions that the nation will compete in. Norman Mapeza will head up qualifying for AFCON, Raman Gumbo will oversee the African Nations Championship campaign, and Sunday Marimo Chidzamwa is currently coaching the side through the Kosafa Cup, where, at the time of recording, Zimbabwe had made the semis. Thank the Lord you read that paragraph, Pato. Anyway, Chinzamwa actually played in Zimbabwe's first international team after the country took its independence from the UK and has managed the national squad twice before. But he isn't the only one trying to bring silverware back to Harare. Yes, Caps United, who are based in the Zimbabwean capital, are currently on a Monaco-like run in the African Champions League. The real Champions League, as I like to think of it. The Green Machine, who had never got past the qualifying rounds of the tournament until this year, beat TP Mozambique to make the group stage. Now, Mozambique are from the Democratic Republic of Congo, and they're five-time winners of the African Champions League. This is the equivalent of Aberdeen. Aberdeen beating Barcelona. Yeah, and now they've beaten Egyptian giant Zamalek in the Ooh. group stage, who were African champs as recently as 2002. That means that going into the final round of fixtures on Friday, a win against USM Alger would put Caps in the quarterfinals. Come on, Caps. If you win, you might even make Patrick Van Straten smile. Never smiles. That's the joke. Yeah. So, miserable. <laughs> Hate life. And finally this week we have Arsenal legend Lucas Podolski, who's made a move to Japan, which is the most movement he's made in the last 10 years. The Workshire German <laughs> rubbish. 
Poldi has ditched the delights of Galatasaray for J-League outfit Vissel Kolbi, a club founded in 1995, by which point Podolski was already 10. Hmm. The German has a tough task ahead of him as Vissel lost their last game 5-0 to Kawasaki. But the Japanese don't seem too concerned as they've celebrated the capture of the World Cup winner by posting a video in which he ate a bratwurst using chopsticks. That is quality content. Well, That's premium content. That's, that's better than anything on our That's account. the sort of stuff we aspire to. But yes, Podolski follows in the footsteps of Gary Lineker, Zico and Michael Laudrop by playing in Japan and joins FIFA icon Victor Ibarbo, who is currently turning out for Saigon Tosu. Oh, what a team. So that was this week's Football Mundial, guys. What was your favourite story in honour of Lucas Podolski? Why don't you let us know in the poll just above? Ooh. Recycle banner. Amazing. He came up with that. So. Euro Football Daily, of course, is the better channel than Football Daily. And you should stay right here and check out the rest of our great shows. Continental Club, we've got some great tens for you. And of course, Stat Wars, the greatest show ever to go on YouTube. Agreed. Layers. Simples. Crystal Palace's Jeff Schlupp out the side. Two girls, one Schlupp. He might have a bright future. It's a great fantasy team name. No, two girls, one sharp. Paolo, oh, one sharp. That's also good. Where else can we start, Patrice? But in Brazil, where... Oh, God, that was, that was weird. That was weird. Hello, me. children. <laughs> Welcome back to Story Corner.